Hi there, it's John from Moat here. Really excited to be with you and also sharing with you the latest feature and functionality available to all users of Moat, and that is the ability to insert voice notes straight into your Google Forms. It was a super highly requested feature, so we're really pleased that it launched in the last few days. I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to move myself to the side so you'll be able to see exactly how it all works. So you'll notice here that this is a very familiar Google Form layout. I've got my title at the top, and I've got a few questions below. But what you'll see is if I, if I jump into a question, so for example, this one at the bottom here, when I go, when I click on the bottom, I've got a moat icon that sits at the foot of the question. When I tap on the moat button, it's going to instantly capture all of the audio. Let, allow me to demonstrate. Hi, everyone. Please could you use this question just to let me know what your plans are for this week. Thank you. And now I've got that, you'll notice that the moat link has been dropped straight into that Google form. To be able to listen to that as a clickable card, all I need to do is to click anywhere else on the form, and you'll notice that the card within a few seconds renders itself. I can now click on the card. Let me just click on the card. Hi, everyone. And the audio will play back for me. If I want to, if I want to go back to the question, or back to the audio rather, delete it and maybe re-record, all I need to do is just to tap on the Remove button. And I can do the same for any other question in the form. We've already heard some wonderful examples of our teachers plan, plan on using Moat for Google Forms, everything ranging from exit tickets to the language classroom, and even surveys or forms you might want to share with your colleagues, writing up an instant re report, for example. So this is how it looks to the teacher, but how does it look for respondents? Well, if I jump over to this tab here, you'll see. So very familiar layout here. I've got my header at the top, just as we've seen previously with Google Forms. And I can respond to each of these questions with text, as I would have done normally. So if I just type a name in, or as is now possible with Moat, for, with Moat installed to my Chrome browser, you have to make sure that you're running 9.7. So it will say that when you click on the extension. I can demonstrate that here. Just go up to the extension and top right of my browser, and it says v0.0.9.7. And that's where you want to be. So this is me as a student. Students have each of the audios left by their students that they can click on to listen to. Please take a minute. And should they wish to listen to that again, they can listen to it as many times as they want. So really good for accessibility, just to make sure that students have absolute clarification. So once a student has listened to this, or listened to your note, they can record their own. To do so, just as I demonstrate with a teacher, they tap on the moat button. I learned lots today, but the best thing that I learned was how to make Marmite on toast. Then I go to done, and just like I demonstrated for the teacher, I've now got the possibility of tapping on play to listen to my comment back as a student. And just jumping in to demonstrate that again, just how easy it is, I'm gonna go here, I've been asked my plans for the week. My plans for the week are to get really fit. I think that could be optimistic, but I'll still give it a go. There we go, so I've tapped on done, I'm just gonna make sure that that sounded okay before I send it back to my teacher. My plans for the week are to get spot on, that's ready to go. As I mentioned, we've had lots of language teachers very excited about this, and I'm sure that there'll be lots of uses shared both to the Moat Teachers Group, but hopefully within your own educational communities also. All I need to do now as a student is just to tap on Submit, and that would then go through to the Google Sheet. Now, the Google Sheet is definitely worth sharing as well. And this is something which may have been written, uh, which, sorry, which may have been missed with all the, all the excitement about Google Forms. We now have a super cool integration with Google Sheets. Previously, if you had a link like this that sat within your Google Sheets, to listen to it, you would have had to have tapped on the, tapped on the link and it would have opened up in a new tab. No problem at all it would just take you to the landing page for that moat. But as you'll be able to see now, what I have is when I hover my mouse over or I click on the cell itself, I have a, I have a, a, a card that now pops up that I can listen to. Here we go. As always, I learned loads. 
So you can imagine that not only does this give me as a teacher access to all of the wonderful uh, voice notes that my students are sending me, it's a really good opportunity for everyone to demonstrate their full and thorough understanding. But it, but it also saves me lots of time because it means I can stay within this same place just to go from student to student to student. And you'll see just by hovering the mouse over, I'm not even clicking on these comments that these voice cards will then pop up so I can listen to straight away. I can see we've got some comments in here. So greetings from Spain, someone has said, wonderful, hola. Uh, I hope you're having a great day. Um, we've got someone saying here, so this is great for metacognition. I agree 100%, or uh, as they then said, motor cognition, very good. Um, ne never short of a moat pun or two. Uh, always find that extremely motivating. And then down there at the bottom, greetings from, from Argentina. Wonderful. So I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful evening in Argentina. And there we have here. So yeah, uh, we're also hearing that for accessibility, for example, ESL teachers, ELL students, EAL students, this is going to be yet another opportunity where voice notes are really going to help all of our learners access the maximum amount and get as much as they can from all of the learning experiences. I know you're all working so hard to provide for them. I'm going to stay on the stream just for a, just for a minute or so, just jumping back through the features here. If you have any questions, just drop them into the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. But for now, I'm just going to jump back into the form that I'd see as a teacher. So you'll see if you've just joined the stream now or you want to see nice, uh, again, how I'd create a question from scratch, just tap on the plus to add questions. And then I've got this moat button that's gonna be down here at the bottom. And that's where I can supplement anything that I would write in here. So for example, listen to this, something creative like, like that. And I could even then add something like a sound effect in, in there. But what I would definitely say is just to explore this tool, share it with your colleagues, those that might not have um, been aware of it quite yet, see what they come up with and we'd be delighted to hear anything and any suggestions. Bearing in mind that this tool is just coming out in, in beta, so if, if you notice there are any tweaks that you think we should, we should make, please share them with us, and we will do our best to act on those, as we always do, as quickly and efficiently as possible. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was of some use. Look forward to catching up with you again soon. Thank you.